Um, one thing with BuzzFed is, you know, when whenever we have uh, team dinners uh, with him, not only on restaurants but also in in his house together with his family, mm-hmm. uh, with Mom Carrie, uh, he's always open. It's like uh, he's gonna come to the table and t- talk to us a little bit. You know, how are you guys? And mm-hmm. if, before he enter, uh, b- when he enters, actually we're all there already. So when he enters. He would greet, really greet us one by one, everyone, including mm. we have also our wives during those times, our oh. dinners. So he knows everyone's name. He will talk to them. He will, you know, uh, give a little conversation. So mm. you you feel you know you feel connected there already, and mm-hmm. you know actually seeing him, uh, even if it's a first time or whichever, mm-hmm. how many times you have seen him. It's still intimidating to see, you know, to, to see him. <laughs> mm. he's, he's the boss. He's, you know, but when, but he's very open. When he speaks to you, he looks you in the eye. He's really, you know, wants to to know to know you to get to know, to converse with you. And and having your boss do that and and from what he had done, of course, for Alaska, for the franchise, or for everything he has done, you know, it's very special and. And it just you know it opens up our very welcoming. Hmm, grabe hospitable pala talaga siya. Ngayon ko lang narinig yun sa kahit sa mga ibang interviews na napanood ko. So maganda marinig yun from you. Pero yung Alaska talaga like integrity, you know, yun yung talagang isa sa mga virtues yes. and values na inimpart nila ever since yeah. before. So ikaw talagang na inspire ka ba nun? Nakita mo ba yun first hand na talagang ganun sila na yun nga gusto nila ng parity sa league uh, hindi sila nag exceed sa cup kahit under the table deals I mean I heard si Jolas ba yun or si Jeron ata they said na parang pag nananalo magbibigay siya ng bonus pero kung hindi hindi niya sasabihin oh you can get over the max kahit under the table ganun ayaw niya ng ganun so Talagang totoo ba yun na talagang integrity yung utmost na talagang gusto niya paninigan na practice as an owner? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, that's true. Mm. And we value it. Uh, on our locker dugout room in our practice venue, we have signs there, integrity, characters, everything. Uh, mm. Just to remind us of, you know, we have to do it the right way. And, and yeah, yes, and that's that just exemplify everything as an organization is doing it the you know, being integrity uh, the integrity and doing it the right way and i i like it i like it because i you know i try to live it also by so from my from my life uh mm. what, what i have been taught uh from my dad from my family and of, of also from myself i'm not a perfect guy but i just try to do the right thing always and that's just how I I want I want it to be, and mm-hmm. uh, again, we're not perfect, but <laughs> but having in this uh this team like this, uh, that's why when I got traded, it's I was I I I, I was saddened, uh, pero I was still grateful, and you know I I feel blessed blessed to be part of it. Mm, yun nga, that's really great to hear from you and you know with Mr. Oi Tengsu nga you said na talagang makikita mo sa personality niya na ganun talaga siyang mabuti talaga siyang tao and gusto ko lang matanong since nga you were in Powerade for your first year yata and when they got rid of LA Tenorio ikaw yung pumalit and syempre may impart nila sa'yo yung gusto nilang makita from their players and let's face it di naman lahat ng players kaya yung ganun I mean you know, like not everyone lasts long in Alaska like how you did and how you embedded like the culture and you on and off the court. So, sa tingin mo, ano yung parang approach nila? Maybe not from Mr. Oiteng to even sila, maybe Dickie Bachman or the coaches that you had or even the older players there nung pagpasok mo. So, paano nila na impart yun sa mga newcomers sa team or sa organization? Well, yes, it, it starts with the little things. Um practice jerseys uh, actually we have to wear practice jerseys all, all the time alaska practice oh. jerseys um color of the shoes uh mm. we have to wear alaska colored shoes time also time is very important um mm. we don't want anyone to be late if there's someone late we could, uh, we could uh, i that guy could be ordering pizza for the whole team <laughs> mm. something like that 
So they emphasize on again doing the right things, uh, not by just you know one guy. Even if you are let's say the star player of the team, uh, mm. you should be doing what everyone should be doing. And even if let's say you are the max guy, and good thing about also from that is you have veterans that are doing it. Yeah, you know, like sanitos. that. Oh, oh. Sanitos. Um, mm. uh, we got Sanitos is that really the really prime example kasi siya yung veteran ko when I when yeah. I was there but mm. I had also Nick Velasco was also in Alaska then mm. then other guys who have been before me there Mm-mm. and and from there seeing those veterans doing it the right way doing it uh, how they talk to management how they you know uh, show themselves in practices you know Sunny mm. is going to practice is the first one uh, in the practice always mm. uh, i don't know if he sleep early or or <laughs> he doesn't sleep that's why he's there early but <laughs> but he is there he shows up mm. very early never late and you know if ever you get late you just ask permission beforehand then it will be okay something like that but but those veterans are the ones really showing you the ropes how uh, how to be like to be an Alaska. Uh, 